I'm in the taxi like you can see it's empty we're gonna wait for six more people to come and then we're leaving it took us Sunday enough four hours on the road um, so I think I'm gonna be waiting for an hour before anyone comes which is a lot I'm tired and I want to sleep I enjoy looking at nature when I travel in Algeria by taxi the view is not any less impressive if you take the overnight train this is the least expensive way Since I was tired, I slept almost during the whole trip. Okay, so after three hours on the road, we stopped on a, in a services station, station services, whatever, um, for food. I usually prepare my own food, but today I didn't. You guessed it, I didn't sleep, so I didn't have time to do it. I'm eating pizza, which is not bad at all. I'm super, super hungry. Yeah, we'll live in 10 minutes, so in 10 minutes. Finally made it to Tsundeno with my super host, <laughs> Soki. <laughs> yeah, my super host, Sebil. We're starting our tour with the, the mosque, with the bridges. Ugaakulish is telling me uh, some stories that I'm gonna tell you in a bit. So, yeah. Let's explore something else. Okay, so we made it to downtown, kind of the old city, the old Santena was built here. And you can see that it's built on a big, big, big rock. How do we say that in English? Let me know. So, uh, and it's connected through seven bridges. City. Uh, we're going to the other bridge. I wanted to take a taxi, but uh, she didn't let me. I'm tired. <laughs> no, you have to go there. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, she's mean. No, so we're gonna not. go there. It's beautiful, and uh, this is so common. I mean, I don't know why I've never thought of coming to Oxentina before. Like, just take for a weekend, and uh, you guys really, really should come and uh, discover this. It's beautiful. Car. So guys, we made it to the top, here's the bridge, but it's not what's impressing me, it's the view from here, like, it's so beautiful, you wouldn't believe you're in Algeria, so let me just show you. Big, big mountain that you could see and the view is even so guys we made it to the spring market uh, where you can find flowers plants and uh, let me just show you this is uh, cool and refreshing During spring, it's the annual celebration of distillation of rose water and orange blossom, a timeless tradition in Constantine. Um, now it's time to taste the local sweet, it's called Juziya. I think it's my first time eating it uh, because it's uh, originally from Xenthena. So let's taste it, let's taste it. Which is 
cool. It's dinner time. It's gonna be typically from here, from the city. So let me just show you. Oh my god, this looks so yummy. Good morning guys, uh, my second day in Xantena, I'm super excited, there's so much more to see uh, It's a beautiful day, I feel pumped and let's see what the city has to offer um, So now we are inside the mosque, Mosque uh, Al-Amir Abdelkader uh, I will show you in a bit. It's uh, one of the biggest mosques here in uh, Constantine, and it was named Al Amir Abd al um, after a symbol from the West. And in Oran, Wuhan, another mosque was named after a symbol from here, um, Ibn Badis. So it's kind of a part of a cultural exchange, which is uh, which is nice. So yeah, it's uh, it's really beautiful, spiritually speaking, and uh, it's beautiful. Okay guys, so the theater I showed you yesterday, uh, we found it open today and uh, the people here agreed to show us so we're gonna see it, it's beautiful, actually I took a look, it's so beautiful, let's go and watch It feels like a maze because uh, you can go from a door and then go out from another door and then it's so old. Like, could look at the stairs. Uh, so cool. We are in the balcony on top. Ah, uh, it's so beautiful. People, like, they were so nice. We asked them if we could, uh, if they could show us inside, and they were like, yeah. So. It's lunch time with the girls. Uh, yeah, lunch with the view. Suiqa, small market, is the survival of Constantine of the Ottoman era. Here you will find vintage objects and old photographs of the city. And if you are lucky, a local could tell you all about the history here. The history of Algerian breastwear is rich and Constantine in particular is known for its decorative brass trays. The trays are the specialty of Constantine which incorporates more oriental decorative symbols. Among the local products, Mahbis, Mraj, and Sinia. Next I visited the Bay Palace, a ruler of Constantine from 1826. This palace is the living trace of the Ottoman civilization. To build his palace, Ahmed Bey did not hesitate to use materials from all sources. The columns and other pieces of marble were built in Italy. The cedar wood brought from Ores and Kabiri. The cut stone were taken from the ruins of ancient Citra. The palace thus became a museum of the most curious and richest pieces of carpentry and sculpture. So we're inside the palace and actually something that is really sad is if you can see on the walls it's drawn everywhere and actually when the French came here uh, to Algeria they kind of uh, put white paint to kind of erase the culture the history so now they they're trying to restore it to restore the, the drawings um, why 
But uh, yeah, this is uh, this is beautiful. Constantine is also known by its music, El Maluf. It is the highest of the Arab musical tradition transmitted in the 9th century from Baghdad. Only few associations are still trying to keep this music alive, and the association Najm Qurtuba is one of them. During the rehearsals, I felt like I was in a private concert. Beautiful voices, men, women, young and old, all playing in harmony on different instruments. although based on very strict rules, is an unwritten music transmitted orally from master to student. These talents are just unreal. In the next room, you'd find young children learning with another master. So guys, uh, after a day of filming, uh, we are in a garden to chill, but not just to chill, I'm with my amazing community. We planned a meetup uh, in Pasantena, of course, so some people came, which is cool. And uh, yeah, we're talking about traveling, questions, answers, stories, um, is it safe for a female to travel, because girls are asking, and we're talking about different stuff, which is really, really, really cool. I'm I feel blessed, you know? Our last stop is the uh, Monument Omar. Uh, which is a kind of a memorial that was offered for during the World War II, the Algerians who were di who died uh, between uh, during the war between France and Germany. So it has all the names of uh, the people who died. Uh, yeah, it's it's cool, and you can see uh, you can have a beautiful view from here. I will show you it a bit, and from there as well. Let's go and watch it. Today's adventure ends on the top of this beautiful mountain with the most beautiful view ever. Mm -hmm.